Hey guys, this is John, and I'm playing the Hourly Bullet Arena on LeeChess.org. So, we have 84 players in, and a special treat. We have Chess Network in the mix. I played him a little while ago, and this is another tournament where we're going to face. So, let's see what he does. Let's see if it's the same system with Bishop F4. It is. He has white again, and it's this London system, like, super solid for white. Um, I'm playing this Bishop F5 idea I like to do, and then we'll play Bishop E7 and just castle. My sounds are kind of low. I might need to turn them up, actually. Because at the moment, they are very, very faint. I am going for queenside expansion in the hopes of weakening over there a little bit. Uh, let's play a4. Why not? I think the center is okay. I think I have that under wraps so far. So he, he hangs d4 in taking there. But I don't know. This position could go either way, actually. It's hard to say who's better. So let's take with the bishop. Now I'm hitting the rook, and I get a discovered attack here. So let's do this. I think our, our bishop is pretty strong, so I want to keep it for now. Let's go here. i got to be fast against him because he is a quick player. And last game, I could have played faster. I think my time management was a little suboptimal in that game. Okay, so... Mm -hmm. All right, I'm going to take here. He can take d4 if I do this, but I think it's all right to get that past a pawn. Yeah, I definitely need to turn up my sounds, huh? This is kind of bad. Uh, okay, let's go here, attack the rook. Let's do this. The back rank is covered, so that's all right. Queen b2 is probably coming next if we can. Yeah, let's do that. Pump the queen in. And this is looking bad for him. Rook b2 coming up. Still rook b2, looking for that move. He has five seconds left. Maybe f5 next. Oh, he's coming to d3. It's a bit annoying. But still, we can keep this keep this going. Yeah, he's just way down on time now. We'll look for the flag. Okay, so we get the first round victory. I'm going to turn this up a little bit, if I can. Yeah, there we go. Okay, Mr. Kit is the next opponent. I'm a Dirty Cheater is in the mix, too. Very quick player. You know he's always going to compete for the victory, for the top prize. Hmm. I'm going to go Queen B3. This is kind of an unusual treatment of the position. Bishop F5, 94 from Mr. Kit. Maybe a specialty system. You never know. Okay, let's, uh, let's go here. Although he could take on f3 and win a pawn, can't he? So I should maybe safeguard c4. Let's do this. Go rook d1. I'm going to have to maneuver a little bit. Uh, knight e5 is helpful. I think I might trap his bishop now, because I'm going to play f3, and if bishop f5, g4. And if bishop c2, we have rook d2 at the end. Yeah, so we're winning that piece. Quite convenient. So let's just take here. Keep it real simple. Let's take that guy. And then go f4. All right, he's sacking an exchange. There's a famous Shirov game where he played rook e4 against Kramnik, but I don't think this is going to be like that game. <laughs> okay, let's uh, let's just do this. Safeguard f4. I'm going to invade down the c-file. That's my current plan. So something like queen c7 to come. I think if I play e3 to safeguard, though, this should be straightforward. Mm -hmm. Let's come over here. Just make, want to make sure that Queen f3 or something doesn't kill me. Not that it will, but... All right, if that bishop moves, we might have queen g7 checkmate. Also, queen e5 is on the horizon. Let's attack the rook and attack d5, and also the bishop. Just come here. 19 seconds remaining, but this is an overwhelming position. Up the rook. Only a sheer miracle would save black at this point. Okay, we'll just come here. Maybe d5, look for bishop c3. And he ran out of time. Okay, so we're on the second page, but still very early. 21 minutes and change. How's it going, poor York? What's up? Tony says, I remember the days on Lee Chess when I was the first page ratings-wise before tournaments started. Yeah, Lee Chess has seen like a tremendous growth, hasn't it? We're berserking this game. 
Let's try to make the most of it. Against you, Morgano. This is kind of a risky Berserk, 1920, but I think in this field, I'm going to have to take some risks to win the tournament. And I'm not going to sit on my rating, so let's see what happens. Let's drop this back. I have the Bishop pair. Also, I have a structural advantage once I do this. I get in these types of positions a lot from g6 on move 1. It's really, really prevalent in my play. Here I'm hitting f3. Uh, I can take and then take d4. So this is nice. Queen d3 is going to drop the queen thanks to this little tactic. And let's see if he blitzes me out or tries to. Oops. Don't hang your queen, John. Let's go e5, maybe look for e4. First, let's bring this over, though. Let's just trade the rooks. I think that's probably the safest option. Let's go take some stuff. Look for e4, followed by this. This king is probably going to go for a run, I would say. And now we're going to win the bishop. Let's just make sure we don't stalemate the guy. All right, checkmate. Back to tournament. So we're in fourth place with nine points. I'm a dirty cheater. Off to his usual fast, fast start. And he lost a game, though, to Boban 2016. Where is Chess Network? Is he on the second page? I've noticed that Chess Network very rarely, if ever, berserks, which I think is going to hurt him in this tournament, this type of field. So we'll see if that's the case. Va Vakazul is the next opponent. I didn't berserk this game, although maybe I should have. We'll see. Let's play Bishop F4 and hit that queen. Probably E5 will be the answer. Hitting my bishop in reply. Okay, let's just keep pushing then if he's allowing us to do this. He might take c3, in which case I'll just take back. Hmm. Goes there instead. That's a good idea. I'm going to play queen d4 in an attempt to hold f4 and also kind of guard c3. He can take c3 now. Uh, no, he's letting me do this. Okay, I'm getting some play. Now my knight might make an appearance on d6. Let's go a3 first, though. This bishop looks trapped. If bishop c5, we have b4. Yeah, he doesn't have a good square for this. So that was convenient that we were able to work that out. Uh, let's just bring the king back. He did find a way to get two pawns for the piece. Hmm. Let's just come here, attack that knight, that errant knight. And let's take here, hitting the rook. I'm going to go rook d7. This queen has to go into a pin now, or a possible discovery. We'll just safeguard that bishop, first and foremost. Okay, now we're just up a rook. We can go c7, rook d8, and he resigns. So 13 points. Mulutu... I can't even say this name. Milutino 60. I'm really that not that bad at pronouncing, I swear. I just struggle on certain names. <laughs> okay, let's go for e5. Let's just pump this pawn in. I'll go e6 and make a little pawn sacrifice out of this. And then rook e1, looking for knight jump opportunities. Okay, so now we hit g6 in addition to the rook. This is quite nice. Winning lots of material already. Okay, let's bring this knight into e5. Yeah, up the exchange with everything safe, we should be good. Although knight b4 is a little annoying right now. I should have seen that coming. All right, he's offering to trade. And then let's guard the b4 square. Maybe in preparation for c4. I think he's looking for rook e6, but this is just going to lead to a swap, isn't it? Okay, let's bring this bishop out. Probably gang up against e7, maybe rook e1 to come next. Yeah, not much black can do here. He doesn't have a lot of targets. Let's just do this. Uh, okay, I'll take this pawn. H3 probably coming, or we can just do this and swap off stuff. Get the queens off the board. Way too much material, but he might play it out. Go after that c6 pawn. Hit that bishop. Take the free bishop. So, 17 points, I'm a Dirty Cheater, Deep Feller, in the mix. Alright, Sejwen, another name I can't pronounce. <laughs> it's like Shevenigan. 
Let's go Shivenigan. Shivenigan 2 with an unusual spelling. At any rate, I'm sending my knight to, to f5 against Shivenigan. And I'll probably take this bishop if given the choice. Hmm. All right, let's counterattack in the center in this case. This looks like fun. We've got nice pressure on d4. He takes on c5, but I think I'll just play e6, and I like the fact that that pawn is hard to defend, if not impossible for him. He might try for, like, knight b5 to d6, but you know, this is this is looking nice. Ooh, knight f3. Hello. Nice little fork. So he resigns. All right, 21 points. We're in the lead. Still have not faced I'm a Dirty Cheater or Deep Feller or Chess Network, anyone like that yet. Actually, sorry, we did face Chess Network in the first game. Mm. Store Elf. Another opponent we played four times, apparently. Okay, I'm going to go for C4. I actually played this in a recent tournament against Kasper Drozdowski. And this is exactly how our game went. Now he took on C4. But this player plays it differently. Let's play Rook E1. This is a mysterious move. It's, this is actually part of uh, my preparation in this line that I'm giving away in a bullet game, quite stupidly. <laughs> but... uh. Yeah, this is what you want to do in this variation. Hmm. I think I'm just going to take that. He might go for e5. I mean, I do have to be concerned about that. Let's just drop this back. e5 is a freeing move, so I wouldn't be surprised to see him play it. Strangely, he didn't go for that on the previous move, though. Throws an a4, hitting my queen, so we just pull back. Let's go b4. Now I'm thinking b5, like rook b1 and b5 could be a nice plan. I think he still needs to get an e5. I think if he doesn't, he's not going to be getting much play. Okay, so I'm going to ignore that central tension for now and see if he wants to release it. Now he closes it. But look at this bishop. This bishop is a monster now. Um, Let's maybe, like, hide our king and shift over to kingside play a bit. Okay, let's take this, and then we get a nice little square for our rook. Maybe we can double up. I'm going to hit that knight. And then bring the queen here. Now rook b7 is looking really nice for us. Ooh, but he forgot about my bishop lurking down here. He totally forgot about that. That piece was kind of sidelined, and yeah, he just lost track of it right there. So, yeah, I think um, I think black should have gone for e5 sooner, almost certainly in that position. We're playing loser 2. I'm not insulting him. That's his username. <laughs> Let's go knight f5 again. Same plan as against uh, the Shevenigan guy. Okay, let's take this one and go queen b6, hitting that pawn. All right, I guess I'll grab that. I'll be greedy. I don't see why not. I'm going to see if I can send my knight into b4 and hit this bishop. Looks okay. Bishop f5, hit this pawn. Uh, maybe I'm asking for trouble with rook b3. Yeah, rook b3 could be kind of nasty. This is like extreme pawn grabbing. I probably shouldn't do this. But okay. We're up two pawns now and relatively safe. F7's a little loose, but I'm about to castle, so this looks all right. Rook B3. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to take. I know we can win B7 at the end of this line, but I think my A pawn is going to be a strong counter-argument. Although Bishop C4 is probably a good move here. Or Rook takes E7, but let's do this first. And if Bishop C4 now, E6... Oh, I'm way down on time. Got to remember that. Let's go a4 next move. Ah, that bishop was hanging. We're going to push a2 next move. And then we're going to pin him. He's not going to hang his rook, though. Okay, now we can pick up this guy. Let's work this around. I'm trying to set up a mating net. See if he takes that. He does. He's just hanging all of his stuff now. All right. So we get the time win. 30 points. Deep Feller. That must be a reference to uh, Grandmaster Sebastian Feller, who was famously involved in a cheating scandal. All right. We're playing Chess Network again. Let's see if we get the same line. Yeah, he's pretty consistent with his opening choices thus far. This tournament. So we're hitting that pawn. This time he didn't get a chance to play Queen B3, so that helps a little bit. Let's go here and then rook c8 and see what we can do against his queen there. Try to open up lines. He's got to watch for a knight takes d4 at all times. This is a typical trick that he just fell into. Yeah, he can't take. 
Um, I'm actually not going to take his light square bishop. I'm just going to go back. I'm liking the looks of this. Yeah, so up a solid pawn. Let's just safeguard our queen. I'm going to go here looking for rook over. He's going to have a hard time defending because queen a3, there's c4. So, yeah, he gives up another pawn. Now we're hitting that bishop. Uh, let's go Let's go knight here. Threatening knight takes c3. Okay, I'm going to do this. He can win a7 maybe, but I don't think I care too much. Okay, let's drop this back just so that when he does take on d4 with the knight, it doesn't hurt us too bad. Uh, f2 was hanging. I could have taken f2. It was just purely hanging on the previous move. Uh, let's let's not hang mate. Let's go here and attack that queen and also the bishop. I'm going to bring this back, though, for the time being. We'll take the file. Let's go here. I'm just playing a lot of safe moves right now. Because the position is overwhelming. My time is good. We don't have to worry about too much. Now we're hitting F2. Uh, let's just offer a trade, which he can't really decline. Yeah, this is too much material now. Way too much material. Let's pin him. Rook takes f1 could be a threat. It's too much. Too much stuff. Let's bring the pawn up the board. Go attack that rook, too. All right, he throws in a little check ski. All right, so we win that game. Yeah, that version of the London system was a lot better because uh, notice he didn't get to play queen b3. I and mean, I think white, black is doing fine in the lines where white does get to play queen b3, but this was also really good. So Shevenigan is the next opponent. Uh, we have a position where maybe I have a slight edge. Let's see if he goes for e5 at some stage. I'm going to try to prevent him from doing that. He's probably going to go for c5 instead, it seems. Okay, so now I'm wondering where black's going to put the queen. Because queen c7 would run into some discoveries. He could play queen c7 now, but then maybe b4. Yeah, b4 looks good. Idea, knight takes b6. Although, then he takes on c1, doesn't he? Hmm. Okay, I'm going to play a safe move in that case. But I give him a chance to play queen b8. This is true. Let's just go for some exchanges. I think I could have played that better. Because now he should be pretty safe. Okay, let's do this and maybe try to go queen b2 against his, his uh, play against his back rank a little bit. Okay, let's go here now. So now there's ideas of taking on d5 and knight here. Um, yeah, queen c7 looks timely, but you know what? I can almost do this capture. First, I think I should guard here, though. He wants a trade of queens, definitely. Hmm. I don't really want that, but I think I kind of have to. Yeah, I'm losing the initiative now, though. He's going to take and play rook c4. Okay, Shevenigan is playing well at this stage. Let's go e4. I need to get some counterplay. Especially against his king. Okay, give a check. Maybe we can build a mating net somehow. This is kind of dangerous looking for him. Yeah, actually, his king's in some serious trouble right now. G5, probably the only move. Okay, let's do this again. I'm trying to build a checkmating net, and we got it. All right. So that came down to the wire. I think he just got carried away with uh, the king side, or the queen side, rather. And we're playing Deep Feller. I'm a little bit scared of this player based on their username. Because <laughs> it's kind of like uh, Deep Blue, you know? Like an homage to a computer. But we'll see. Uh, okay, let's play rook fc1. And h3, maybe stop any knight g4 business. I would like to somehow open the queen side, but it's proving to be difficult right now. Let's drop this back. Guard that pawn. Hmm. Let's go b4. This position's not so good, though, for me. I gotta be worried about e4 stuff. D5 is hanging, though, so at least they can't, like, outright win a pawn right now. So we're hitting B7 right now. 
Let's come in and hit the knights. Okay, this is starting to shape up a little bit better. Knight c6 ideas, maybe? Uh, is he winning material with that move? Looks like it. Hmm, that's annoying. That is quite annoying. I guess I have this move. That's probably my only move to hold the material. Still, though, I'm down a lot of time, aren't I? Let's take that. Knight a4. Okay, come here. Knight c6. He's got stuff hanging now. This is a nice rejoinder. Okay, now we win a piece. Let's take that. Let's bring this back. Okay, up a piece. We should be able to do this with the time. As long as we play quickly and confidently. Rook versus bishop. Let's target g7. How about that? Now his rook can't really move. This is nice. We can even walk our king all the way up, can't we? He can give a check, but he's basically in almost in Zugzwang. Now we trap his rook. That's nice. All right. Well, that one was looking a little scary because I thought after bishop e5 he was going to win material, but that turned out not to be the case. So we have less than five minutes left, and we have a four-point lead. Hello, John Aru Bartho. <laughs> he says, hi, YouTube. All right, we're playing chess network again. Oh, he's going to play something more mainline this time. Okay, an exchange slav. Ah, oh, so boring. <laughs> Incredibly boring, but okay. Sometimes you can't avoid this sort of thing. Let's take and then play h6. I've actually played this position before. And then let's go bishop d7. Usually black tries for a timely uh, e5 pawn break. So let's do that right now before he gets too comfortable. He's going to put his knight in, but I think I think we have reasonable play in this position. A knight takes a6 was possible there. Okay, let's take and then go here, hitting that bishop. And then we'll jump the knight in. Um... I do got to worry about knight takes a6, so I should I should probably guard like something like this. I feel like this is the type of position chess network likes. Kind of a static position. Not too many tactics going on. So you could argue that I'm playing to his strengths, but you gotta get with you gotta play what the position gives you sometimes, right? Uh yeah, now that that's a, a weak point in my setup. Okay, let's go here. You can take on g4. He wants that knight in on e5 really badly. Uh, I'm going to try to set up... Okay, let's do this. He can move his king. Um, take, take, take. Okay, let's come here. Let's bring our king in a little bit. So our king is invading. Hard to say what's going on here, though. He can trade now, can't he? This is not good. This is pretty annoying, actually. Now, his rook is kind of trapped, though. He's going to trade. Mm, yeah. Now I think we're going to lose, though. Unfortunately. It's like we almost have a fortress, but not quite. Yeah, especially after I hung that. At some point, he's going to take on c4, probably. All right, I'm just going to resign. Yeah, that was a nice game by him. He played that a lot quicker, and I didn't quite get the position that I wanted. Okay, so that hurts with less than two minutes remaining. And I'm not on a streak anymore, although neither is Deep Feller, but I'm a Dirty Cheater is. So probably I got to Berserk my next game and try to try to get back in the action. Oh, can I still Berserk? Yeah, okay. I still got the Berserk in against Mr. Ron Depp. <laughs> so that was fortunate. This is not a great position, but I think Desperate Times. I feel someone's going to pass me if I don't Berserk this one. Okay. It's castle. He can take a3 if he wants. He doesn't. Let's go rook e1 and probably knight e5 if we're allowed. Ah, that's a wonder of a piece by me. Very sloppy. I, I didn't see that his queen was going to come to c7. 
Now he's probably going to play kind of safe and try to safeguard that extra piece. Well, his kingside's a little weakened, so maybe we can make use of that. If he plays f6, e6 is weak. So maybe I'm getting something against Rondep's king. We'll see what we get. He's going to go for a trade. Okay, f3 followed by g4 is looking good. Okay, let's see if we can get a swap here and then go rook h1 and play down the file. Just doubling up, basically. Mm hmm. This is not good, though. Whoa, take that. Take it. Take. Oh, it's check. I didn't see that was check. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> this is going to be game over soon. Ah, oh, okay. Oh, we tried to berserk Ron Depp. I think that was the only chance. And I'm a Dirty Cheater is going to pass us. Yeah. Well, we uh, we took a stumble there at the end, losing to Chess Network and then Ron Depp. But uh, hey, at least we gave it a shot. Had I won that, I would have gone into the lead. So probably was the correct play under the circumstances. Oh, that's too bad. We were having a really good tournament up till that point. But turns out I end up losing rating points and doesn't. I don't win the event. So... Anyways, that was nice. We got three games in against Chess Network. Some pretty strong players. Yeah, Deep Feller. Um, we got to play against the old uh, old favorite, Ron Depp. And anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Talk to you guys later. Bye.